What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Charwell here on Farming Simulator 19. We've got a brand new purchase. We have a trailer. Yes, we do. We have an auto load bell trailer. Not only that, it's just kind of a normal bell trailer when it's not auto loading. I figured we needed this. Why do we need this? Well, because I just made 91 bales today. I've been playing for about an hour and a half. Uh, most of you guys know I record a day early and there's no mods, no news. I'm actually recording like six hours earlier than I normally record. Boy, I am hyped up and ready to go. What do we have? Well, I mentioned to you guys yesterday, I was like, yeah, I bought another silo so that we could fit more straw. Well, I've I still had too much straw, <laughs> so we've got a bunch of straw bales. We got five. Yeah, five straw bales. Um, I also made hay. Yep, I did. I did do it. I made hay in 78. Yep, sure did. Um, also, I ran out of space for hay. So we have 475,000 liters of hay. Packed out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, ten. There's a bunch of bells. There's almost 20 bells there. Hey, bells. Goodness. Not only that, we're going to do a little speed run here. We've got boo coodles of silage bells. Not only here, <laughs> not only there, but everywhere i decided to do all that off screen because i gotta be honest with you i know it gets a little bit boring when it's all on screen so i made the decision to do all that off screen what we're going to do now is we are going to collect and we are going to start getting everything ready to go for selling we're going to be selling all the bales at the same place currently right now i do have the time set to zero because I don't want this grass growing up. I need to get, is that 24? Holy cow, look at that. <laughs> nice. Um, I don't have the uh, bell or the uh, time on times one yet, just because I need to be able to get some stuff done today. I need to get stuff done before, yeehaw, before the grass regrows, because I don't know if I'm gonna be doing grass everywhere. We don't need hay anymore. We don't need grass, period. We have more silage than we know what to do with. So we might pull up all that grass and just do a big crop harvest this next time around. I'm not quite sure yet, but that's the game plan right now. So where are we going? We need to get these bales sold. Best price for everything is going to be at bales, which is the second one. However, I don't know where that is and it won't let me select it. So we're gonna tag the other bale place, which appears to be right there, which means, oh man, we're going up there. Sweet. So I might have accidentally unloaded the bales on the way here and they went flying. It was not a good thing. Will the uh, straw reappear? Yeah, that's so cool. All right, let's put it right here. Let's unload bales, unload bales here. Brrrp. What? $10,000 for all those bills. I know it was straw and hay, but come on, man. We want more than that. All right, let's put it back. Let's load it some more. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and start loading in a bunch of bells. See, we're just going to cut through here like it did a minute ago. Uh, we're going to just load in a bunch of bells and start bringing in all the silage bells. We've got a bunch of them, so let's make it happen. Rolling in, this is our first sell of silage bells. Boop, 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 and boop. 38,000, not terrible, not great. To be honest with you, not great, but definitely not terrible. You know, I'm sitting here going through thinking, if only we owned the BGA, we could do so well. There we go, another 38,000. Tell you what, 38,000 by itself doesn't seem too crazy, but when you do it like three times, it's not terrible. <laughs> I dig it, man. Yeah, if only we own the BGA. Let's look at the BGA real quick. Can we buy the BGA? Err, that may have been a, hold up. Potato shop, gray shop, bull shop, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I think maybe I, I should probably go ahead and upgrade to the new version, shouldn't I? Yep. Probably should do that. And here's the last load of bells. 
at 30,000 for that last load. So we are now over $602,000. Tell you what we're going to do. What we need to do is I need to go in here on the items and we need to repair some stuff because there's a lot of things that need repairing. This is a great way and an easy way to do this without having to go to a shop or something like that. You just come in, you go over, you see at the bottom it says repair, left stick. Cool, gonna click that, 1300 bucks. Not terrible, that's what we're in right now. Here we go, the Arian repair, 620 bucks. Not bad, and we just kinda go through, of course the cedar needs repairing, and we find what needs to be repaired. I don't think a lot needs to be repaired. And these, of course, don't get repaired anyway. So we're still over 600,000. We're still doing just fine. I think we're good. I think we're very good. Guys, I think it's time that we get ready for cows. Well, the animal transport is leased and it is time to go get ourselves some cows. We're gonna try to make this turn right here. Oh, we're gonna hit, aren't we? Yep, sure are. Off-road, baby, let's go. Oh, am I stuck? No, come on. There we go. Very, very, very tight turns on this map. Matter of fact, I don't recommend taking a left there with any kind of trailer. Every time I do it, I mess it up. So what do we have on the back right now? We have this guy right here, the legal animal transport. This could be used to do a lot of different things. However, today we're just going to be using it as a normal animal transport. I know our buddy Howard bought 5,000. He loves this trailer because you could put like a bunch of these together. You could hook them all together. Funny enough, I'm pretty sure we used this trailer whenever we did the animal buy when we were on Lone Oak, whenever we bought all of our cows there. So it's a great trailer. You can only fit six cows in each one, so it kind of stinks that we're going to be making quite a few trips over here, but it's fine. No worries. No worries at all. There's our animal dealer right here on our left-hand side, and I don't actually know. Oops, let's get out of the road here. How in the world we loaded animals? Oh, I think I see it. Let's pull straight through here. There we go. Drive through here and around. We should be good. I think it's just right here. This is phenomenal. Look at this. You can pretty much drive straight out and be fine. All right, let's open up the top. Let's open the back and let's load in cows. Yeah, man. All right, what kind of cows are we going for? Are we going for how now brown cows? Are we going for how now brown and white cows? Um, we doing black cows, black and white, Brahmin? Are we doing Brahmin? No, we're not doing Brahmin. I think either brown cows or brown and white cows. All the cows are going to be exactly the same. I think we do brown and white. Just a little bit of a color bump for us there. So, oh, trailer's full. Okay, confirm. Fifteen thousand dollars for six cows oh my goodness they are in there too aren't they boy they are in there well let's get them closed up there we go and let's get everything sent back over to the farm we're gonna unload these guys and then we're gonna have to head back and do it all again so there are more than one way there are there is more than one way to get into the cow field you can also go through field five right here, which we are going to do right now because I'm not going back through there. There we go. Right through here. And I'm just going to back in. I believe our animal transport. Actually, no, we're going to have to go this way around. That's all right. No worries. No worries there. Let's bring these guys around. Again, I would like to have at least like 50 cows. I think that's a good starting number. Maybe we'll start with 50 and we'll see how that goes. But... I've kind of budgeted for 100 cows. I know that's a lot, but we're going to be getting a lot of manure and sil or silage, manure and slurry and all that good stuff. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. All right, we got this undone. Let's get the gate open for them. How now, brown and white cows? You guys are out, baby. Let's do it. Transfer over. Confirm. Now, they should just be walking around, hanging out. Being cool, doing what cows do. Obviously, there's grass here, so they are enjoying that. Move. 
Or as cows would say, move. Nah, that was stupid. Let's move on. Hopefully they don't walk through all this. I'm sure they will. No one else. I'm sure they will. You're doing the, the moonwalk over there? <laughs> Do your thing, homie. Do your thing. I believe this is where straw goes, so we'll be getting all that done later on. Let's get this closed up so they don't try to get out. All right. We've got six cows. That's like 10% total. Let's go get some more. Let's bring them all back. And uh, you know what? Since I want 50, what if we just do 60 cows? What if we just do 60? We make 10 trips. Should be good. Yeah, let's give a try and see. I am still going to go this way. Here we go. Through here. Please don't have any cows going through there. Oh, man. This is not going to be good. And the last cows are in. I decided to go for 100, so I went back and got four more. Boom, 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 boom. Confirm. Holy cow. Pun intended. That's a lot of cows. Yeah, we'll jump on you. Wee. All right. Are any walking on the thing? Not yet. You going to walk on it? Huh? You, you going to walk on it? You, over here. You know, okay, all right, yeah, yep, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> so we're good there. We've got all that done. We're spending pretty much all of our money on cows. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and jump on top of that cow. There we go. What's up, dude? And it's time to get rid of this trailer and get our next trailers because we need to start making... Well, we just need to start making some TMR. Before we make some TMR, we're going to have to do a few other things as well. Mainly, we need a telehandler, we need a big bucket, and we need a food mixer. Everything else is pretty much fine. We're good to go. Um, but we need a big bucket. We need something. So, let's go in. Let's take a look and see well, what we've got. Well, we talked about this yesterday. This is... 100% what we're going for here. I'm, I'm not going to get anything else. I'm getting this. We're going to go with the big wheels. I don't care. Let's get it. All right. Purchase. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I've got a... You know what? Let's, let's do something here. Let's reset that buy point because I'm not sure where it is and it's going to cost us extra to buy. So, purchased. We got it. We need a bucket for it as well. Um... We, <laughs> we've got a small bucket for cleaning, and that's going to be great. However, I think in order to get what we need to get done, this is what we need right here. Lightweight bucket, $4,700. This guy right here. I do want to go with this. I think this is the way I want to go with it. Either that or we'll go like a white and then design color. Do like that. I prefer that. I gotta be honest with you. I prefer this look. Let's change the main color to white just to see how I like that. Maybe with red. Dude, that looks pretty good. I like that. Telehandler, boom. Let's get it. I don't care how much the color costs. I want it. I got it. I'm gonna have it. Uh, what else? We need food mixer. So we're gonna go in here. I had mentioned before, I think we're gonna get the biggest one that we can. Now, there is a little bit of a difference between these, but it's not crazy big, and we're going to have to feed these guys a lot. So, I think this is the best case scenario right here for mixing and making a bunch at a time, but this one right here, it's a little bit smaller. It's a lot cheaper. I think, you know what? I think this is the one to go with right here. I think the Anderson Smart Mix, the A700... Let's get it. And I think that's everything we need to buy. So, let's get it all returned over here. We'll make it happen. Well, we are all set and ready to go. We've got our food mixer right here and all the way over here. We are all set, ready to go with our Claw Scorpion as well. So here's what we're gonna do. First things first, we're gonna jump in here because we're gonna put in our straw and our hay. Since silage is gonna be in buckets and I'm not sure how <laughs> Now we're gonna get the, the buckets in there, at least without completely demolish. Go, go cow. Oh, come on, don't go up on the grady. Bruh, move. Fine, we're having sliced cow for dinner. <laughs> Let's get out of the way. So 
as uh, ooh, took his head off. Some of you guys may know that I do TMR not differently than most people, but I don't do the 25%, 25%, 40%, whatever. I don't do that. What I do is a 40%, 40%, 20%. So 40% silage, 40% hay, 20% straw. Well, in this guy right here, it's going to hold 23,475 liters. So I look and I say, okay, 25% of that is 4,692. So let's go to side straw and i need 4600 liters oh gosh oh too much too much let's see we'll dump out just a little bit how about that i need just 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 a little bit darn too much <laughs> uh i can't get it i can't say you know what that's fine that's enough right there and then we need 9300 liters of hey right there so for that what i want is i'm just going to be looking at the bottom right hand corner you can see that says 19 percent straw i need that to go up to 60 percent so i'm going to put in hay and we're going to wait for this to fill up to about 60 percent right there 59 is perfect so we have forage right now but you can see it's showing that we have way 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 too much straw for the amount of hay that we have well, you know what? We're gonna fix that. All that's gonna be nice and fixed. I'm gonna go right over here to where our silage is, and we have a wonderful, wonder, I mean, just amazing telehandler. So let's get this put there. Let's, uh, you know what, we're at it. Let's go and turn on the mixer. Get that rocket and rolling. Let's go here and open up the silo. And our first little bit in here, here we go right there tis full i don't think we need a weight on here this seems to be doing okay without a weight so i think we're gonna be good let's get in here let's get in a way that i can actually see what's going on right there and then dump in the silage we're gonna need more than just one bucket but we're not gonna need too much more than one full bucket there's that a good little amount let's get one more little bit Again, we're not going to need a whole bucket's worth. Yeah, that right there is probably too much as it sits already. But the great thing is we do have TMR in here. So that's good. That makes me real happy. Bring this right here. Bring it up and dump. And it's full. Action can't be performed because it's already got too much in it. We'll bring that back down to the ground and just kind of sit it right here beside our silo. Now... We have TMR 100%, 40%, 40%, 19%. That is almost perfect. Let's change our tip side to be right. There we go. Because I'm just going to back up to this thing. Get about right here. Spin it. And we've got it. Dump it out. Pigs are pigs. Goodness gracious. Cows are going to be nice and happy. We need a bunch of this stuff though. So I'm gonna have to make tons and tons and tons of this off screen. And I'm gonna be doing that and hopefully we'll have a bunch extra. I'm gonna probably do as much as we can. So as much hay and as much silage as we can get done, I'm gonna do off screen just because the, well, we need to get it done. Straw, we're gonna have to hang on to straw because we need that for bedding. Let's go in here, let's take a look at our cows. Cows are happy, but you could see 23,474. Hey, we're missing a leader. Come on. You can see that's not doing us any justice whatsoever. So we're going to have to come back through. We need straw. So let's turn this off and spin it around. Straw is going to go on the other side, I believe. I think that's where it's going to go. We're getting ready to find it. Come, quit. Urgh, get out of the way, cows. You guys stink. Go right here. And we're gonna fill up with only straw this time. The reason you may be saying to yourself, TJ, why are you filling up this thing straight up with straw? Well, I haven't done animals in a while here on the farm or on the uh, channel, and a lot of you guys don't know that you can take the food mixer right here and use this to dump straw. Now, hopefully, we get the tip trigger. Let's see. Not getting. A trigger. I'm not gonna force dump this. I 
could have swore that's where the... Hmm. Maybe if we go in there, maybe that's going to be it. Let's give it a try and see. Let's open this up. Just like so. We should get a trigger. Yeah, there it is. We got the straw trigger. And so we're dumping now. We're dumping straw. And the bedding is filling up. If we go in here and see, straw's going up. And we're going to be dumping a total of the 23,000, et cetera, et cetera in here. So that is the game plan for today. We do also need to get them water. I don't think there's a water container on this farm. So we may have to go off site in order to find them water, but that's gonna be okay. There's water all around everywhere. I'm sure we'll be able to find some. Turns out there's a water tank right over at our old farmyard, right over here. We're gonna back up to it, hopefully get our trigger. And there it is, water in and it is free water. And I am down with that. But between now and tomorrow, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel if you guys are new. Join the GoHam fam and turn those notification bells on so that you never miss it. Welcome to Charwell here on the channel. My goal and my game plan is to do Charwell every single morning until we basically own the entire map. I'm loving this map. I absolutely love Welcome to Charwell. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. That being said, hope you have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.